we have to get this community back. And what we went through this pandemic made us stronger. I believe that, especially as I talk to young people who weren't able to have their graduations from high school or a normal life for the last 18 months. I say to them, whatever comes your way in life, you are stronger, you are more resilient. God let you survive this pandemic because he wants you to do great things someday. He lets you live through this when so many other people did not. And that is also your responsibility. But how do we keep more people alive? We are not through this pandemic. I wished we were, but I prayed a lot to God during this time. And you know what? God did answer our prayers. He made the smartest men and women, the scientists, the doctors, the researchers, he made them come up with a vaccine. That is from God to us. And we must say, thank you, God, thank you. And I wear my vaccinated necklace all the time to say, I'm vaccinated. All of you, yes, I know you're vaccinated. You're the smart ones, but you know there's people out there who aren't listening to God and what God wants. You know this, you know who they are. I need you to be my apostles. I need you to go out and talk about it and say, we owe this to each other. We love each other. Jesus taught us to love one another. And how do you show that love, but to care about each other enough to say, please get vaccinated because I love you. I want you to live. I want our kids to be safe when they're in schools. I want you to be safe when you go to a doctor's office or to a hospital and are treated by somebody. You don't want to get the virus from them. You're already sick or you wouldn't be there. We have to solve this, my friends. I need every one of you. I need you to let them know that this is how we can get, fight, fight this pandemic, come back to normal, and then start talking about the real issues that we have to, fighting systemic racial injustice, which exists today. And if there's a denier, I will take you on any date because I've seen it, I know it exists, and we are not gonna have a blind eye to this ever again any longer under my watch. And that is my commitment to you.